so what we'd what we'd like to hear, Harry, is or two things. Well, well, one thing was, what was it like? What what was the mood? What was the atmosphere in the country and in the people that you knew when the NHS got founded? Like you know, in the weeks and months and after it was established, because it would have been such a radical change. What, what can what what could you kind of Tell us about that. I, I, I think probably they all felt like I did because I, I came back from Hamburg, Germany. I, I was demobbed in 1948 and I, uh, I had contacted a sort of uh, a, a chest disease and uh, I went to the hospital for the first time and I had a doctor there and uh, he checked me out and he gave me antibiotics and uh, and I I walked out of there without paying a penny and I was simply amazed because it was so wonderful to think that now we were able to ensure that ourselves and our families could at least live and not be killed off be for lack of uh, medical care. It was uh, it was a frightening period, the early days in in England. Uh, I mean, you if you didn't have money, you didn't have doctors or medicine or or any healthcare help at all. And uh, all across Northern Britain, and I'm sure the rest of the country. People were dying right and left. There wasn't a family around the town that we were living in, Barnsley, that hadn't lost a father, a mother, a sister, a brother, or something. And it was uh, we we went when when the war was declared. We still went because we knew that uh, the threat from Hitler was a great threat that had to be uh, dealt with. And uh, at the end, of the, there was millions and millions of servicemen all across the world and in Europe. And we had all been treated the same way as far as healthcare was concerned. And we made a vow at that time. We talked about it in every moment that we, we got together that we had to make sure that our health was taken care of if we survived this brutal war. And uh, we, uh, the war finished in 1945. There was an election coming up and the Labour Party, uh, Hartley was a, a very prominent uh, politician who had people's interest at heart, I must say. And he made sure that the National Health Service was formed. Without that, we would still be in the same situation. Uh, unhappily, I find today, we are unfortunately reverting to that perilous time that we all endured, at, my, at least my generation. We have to keep his feet to the fire all the time. We have to keep bugging him, and uh, if he ever gets to Parliament, we have to make sure he's talking about what we're thinking about constantly, you know, that national health is a major concern for everyone. They're, they're cutting back on every facet of the National Health Service. They're even selling off sections. And those sections, of course, are being paid by money that should go to helping the NHS build better health services. This, uh, I, I really, being an old man, I, I could cry when I, I think of how we have let this country go into such a state of uh, chaos in, in all, all things. 
we are just beginning to realize that we have to get up and shout. I found that in, uh, in Yorkshire during my latest day particularly. People are getting animated. They are not going to take any more of this nonsense from the governments. Uh, we're going to see more and more large uh, routes, r routine marches around the, the National Health Service here, the hospital that uh, they're supposed to be closing. And uh, it, it, it is the only way. The, uh, it, it's necessary that all the people are of one mind to better society for, for the whole country. And uh, the only way I feel that it will happen, it will take a long time, but if we protest and, and protest loudly and with big routine marches around government building, buildings, I think they will get the message eventually that we're not going to take any more of their I was going to say crap, but uh, it's. Uh, I'm I, I'm I'm so happy actually. This this time, I I find the British people are up in arms, more so than before. They've always been great, the British people, for rooting for justice. But this time, they're angry, and that is good because it's only angry people who are be going to be heard and in mass they have to make sure, never mind what party they belong to, but if, even if they're not be belonging to a Labour Party, they're going to still be affected by the National Health Service. They're not all going to private hospitals. You know. <coughs> When, when you've been going around campaigning, um, what, what was, you know, and some people will say, well, you're putting yourself through, you know, it's, it's a time where you want to be relaxing and stepping back from life, but you're, you're you know, you're, you're well into your 90s and taking up this campaigning cause. What, what's the impetus? For, I mean, apart from that you think it's, it's, it's a reversal, but what, what, was, what, what was the thing that's like, pushing you to say, this is what I want to be doing in these twilight years? I, I, I guess really, I, it all started out, I, I used to go to Portugal in the winter time to relax. Uh, I was always energetic, yeah. I didn't like sitting around, uh, I was always moving. In, in fact, if my wife saw me getting an antsy, she would find me a big uh, building job or something in the, in the house or in the garden. But uh, I'm sorry, where was I? <laughs> well, well, just what was the impetus? What, oh, what, what, what oh it was uh, the, the, the uh, 2008 banking crisis. I was so infuriated that no one suffered for the, the horror and misery that they caused for thousands, millions of people across the world. Uh, someone should have gone to jail for that. And uh, instead of that, the poor people who lost their homes and, and their livelihoods, they then were assaulted with austerity so the government could get back some of the money that the banks had thrown out. So I thought uh, it's time I went back in history and uh, I, I had uh, done a lot of writing in the past, but just for my own pleasure, you know. And uh, looking through it, I thought, yes, I'm going to show our country what it was like. And maybe if they realize that we are heading in that same direction that I had as a boy, maybe they will get up and, and scream blue murder and change the government to what we want it to be and not what they have in mind.